Hey there guys, what's up? It's Autobot Mike 18 here, back with another DVD review and unboxing, not a Blu-ray review and unboxing this time. But guys, yes, I haven't done one of these since July. I, you know, not too many interesting things have been coming out on Blu-ray and DVD, which is why I haven't done a Blu-ray review and unboxing, or DVD review and unboxing in that case. But yes, guys, at the end of every August, we always get a release of the newest season of The Walking Dead on DVD and Blu-ray, and I, of course, picked up the newest release, which is uh, The Walking Dead, the complete fifth season on DVD, released uh, today, August, I almost said April, August 25th, um, this release, uh, this was released by Star slash Anchor Bay, of course, Walking Dead from AMC, um, so yeah, I picked it up today from Best Buy, I think Best Buy, uh, currently the DVD version is $24.99, and the Blu-ray version is $29.99, I buy my TV shows on DVD mostly, I think the only exception is I bought True Detective. I got True Detective recently on Blu-ray back in, like, for Christmas. But whatever. Um, the reason why I just, my whole entire TV collection is mostly made up of DVD, so I usually tend to not buy Blu-rays uh, of TV shows. That There's that, and then the fact that they're expensive. They're a lot more expensive than DVDs, $5 more. Um, I, I just save money that way, and, you know, since I'm, like, the type of person who can't have, like, DVDs and Blu-rays, like, on the same shelf, like, it just, it, it freaks me out, I want them all on DVD, so that's why I buy them on DVDs, don't judge me, um, but yes, guys, uh, the Complete Fit Season was just released, I'm gonna review and unbox the entire packaging and everything, and I'll show what's included in the release, I would talk about picture and audio quality, like I do with my Blu-ray reviews, but I can't, seeing that this is a DVD, it's standard DVD quality, so there's really not much to talk about there. Um, anyway, guys, let's get to it. I want to show you off the cover art because this, in my opinion, I think AMC Anchor Bay, they did a great job releasing the cover art and everything, including pictures and everything, and disc art and everything, I think, is really solid. And I'll you know what? I'll talk a little bit about Season 5 at the end of the video instead of doing picture and audio quality. But anyway, let's take a look at the front of the cover. This, of course, is a slip cover, and right off the back, Right off the bat, I always think that uh, Anchor Bay gives us uh, good slip covers, um, and they do a wonderful cover design. Now, if you'll take a look at last season, uh, this was the complete fourth season. Uh, basically, so what they do is whenever they release a poster for season for the, the new season, you know, AMC releases a poster, they'll take that same poster and use it as the cover art. So this was season four. And, uh, yeah, this was the second half of Season 4's poster. Now, this, however, was the second half of Season 5's poster when the group um, tried to uh, find Alexandria. Um, so this was the poster released in between the, the mid-season break. Um, and on the back of the cover, this was the poster released at the start of Season 5. So I was actually surprised that they didn't have this as the front cover. But I actually like this. Like, this is probably one of my favorite posters of the entire series, uh, in my opinion. I love the, how the map is in the foreground. And all that's in focus. And all the rest of the group, they're just walking down the street. And you have Rick and Daryl right there. I love that. Anyway, um, take a look up top, guys. AMC, The Walking Dead, self-explanatory, the complete fifth season. The Walking Dead is embossed. Uh, this has a very nice, like, not, almost sort of like glossy feel. It's very smooth. I like the feel of the slipcover. Um, and again, I love the, the map and everything. Uh, obviously, Abraham wrote that in the show. Uh, he didn't write it that big. They just, you know, dramatized it for the poster. Uh, but you can see all the characters in the background. You can actually see, yeah, you can see Tyrese, Abraham, Maggie, Glenn, and Michonne way in the back. I'm pretty sure that's Carol. I have no idea who that is. Uh, oh, that's Carl, all the way back there, if you can even make that out. Basically, our entire main cast. Um, if you could probably make that out, that's probably another character. Maybe Eugene, I don't know. Um, and then, of course, uh, now this sticker obviously wasn't ripped. I didn't do that purposely. Best Buy, since I got it at Best Buy, put like this sticker on, this white sticker that you always got to peel off. Screw you, Best Buy. And um, it was stuck to this for some dumb reason. And when I peeled it off, this came starting to come off. But it's just promoting the new season. Season 6 airs October 11th. And Fear of the Walking Dead is currently airing, in case anyone uh, wanted to know about that. Um, what the heck is that little paper? <laughs> uh, take a look at the spine, guys. Basically the same shot of Rick from the uh, front. Five disc set. AMC The Walking Dead, the complete fifth season. DVD, again, Anchor Bay. Same thing on the other spine. Take a look at the back. And again, I love this shot of Rick. This was another one. Like, season five, it's one of the best posters, in my opinion. I love this shot of Rick, like, in the woods. And he's holding up his, 
his um, his gun. I, this looks so awesome. Uh, there's a quote here, as emotionally savage as ever, from ricky.org. Um, and then, of course, there's several pictures from the entire season. There's Michonne right there, Abraham and Glenn, Maggie, Daryl, and Carol in that episode when they went to go find a character. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything in case anybody's not caught up. Uh, but I love uh, that episode. That episode was pretty good, actually. I'll talk about some of my favorite episodes of the, the season as well. Um, if you guys would like to read the bio, there it is right there. I'm not going to read the whole thing for the sake of saving time. But uh, if you'd like to, you can pause the video, put it in, in HD, because I'm shooting in HD, and uh, read it, and you can read the whole thing. I love how it, this is a, however, if you do read the whole thing, I was in line and I was waiting to buy this, and um, the, the bio itself is a perfect summation of the, the season um, and everything that goes on. I love the end of it. After all they've seen, after all they've done, all they've sacrificed, lost, and held on to, no matter what the cost, who do they become? That perfect summation of what happens to these characters at the end of the season. Um, so yeah, pretty awesome. And then uh, bonus features goes, and I know, I believe there's more on the Blu-ray, but I wouldn't sit down and take the time to watch all these anyway, but you do get featurettes, you get Inside the Walking Dead, you get the making of The Walking Dead, you get the making of Alexandria, you get Beth's journey, Bob's journey, Noah's journey, Tyrese's journey, A Day in the Life of Michael Cudlitz, A Day in the Life of Josh McDermott, Rodders in the Flesh, and audio commentaries and deleted scenes. You actually do get a lot, of a decent amount for a DVD release, so that's pretty cool as well. So there you go guys, there's the whole fit season. Now let's take off the slipcover and do some quick comparisons. Basically everything looks the same on the front. Uh, in regards to the spine, everything looks the same. And the back, everything looks the same as well. Alright, so let's take the slipcover, put that there. Let's open this up. Now it's not like there's any digital copy code. I'm pretty sure a di you get a digital copy code with the Blu-ray, but I don't know. Um, now, you do, like you always do, like they did it with Season 4 and Season 3, you get this Dead Stuff little booklet, which I'll flip through in a little bit. Put that to the side right now. Let's take a look at uh, the individual DVDs. Uh, this is a five-disc set, so you get five DVDs. Uh, this is Disc 1. Nice shot of Rick there. Um, I think these were like teaser character posters that were released early before the season started, in case anyone was wondering, which is what they did for the disc art. There's Michonne on disc two. There is, I believe that's Daryl, yep. Daryl on disc three. Everybody's favorite. If he dies, they'll riot, as they all say. I'm not going to riot, I'll be sad, but I'm not rioting. <laughs> uh, there's Carol on disc four. Carol the Badass, who's slowly becoming one of the best characters on the whole show. Um, and then finally on disc 5, we have Glenn, uh, another great character as well. Alright, so those are the discs, basically all five. And I believe the, just the fifth disc is the bonus disc. Yeah, and they put all 16 episodes on the first four discs. So guys, let's take a look at this little booklet right here. Dead stuff, nice shot of a walker who lost half of his face. Uh, then we have, uh, we got some promotions. I'll go through this fast. We have Fear of the Walking Dead, which I actually did watch the pilot. It was a little slow. It was a little cliched with the whole family thing. I'm not fully sold on it. The ending was really good. Um, I just hope that it, it improves with the second episode. It's not terrible by any means. It's, it's decent. I just want it to be better. I hate the title, by the way, in case anyone was wondering. I do not like the title of the, the show at all. I never did as soon as they announced it. I was like, oh, God, are you kidding me? Are they really going to go with that? Anyway, um... Uh, I'm in, I'm into some of the family dynamic though, but anyway, I'm not gonna and I'm not gonna review Fear of the Walking Dead. I just have no intention on doing it. It's okay. Uh, if you guys want to know how I feel about it, tweet me, uh, ask me on YouTube, ask me down below, uh, and I'll answer as the season finishes for Fear of the Walking Dead. So, uh, Talking Dead, which I do watch occasionally, uh, mainly because Chris Carwick's funny, and I sometimes some of the guests that he has on are really are really cool. Uh, you got a promotion for Walking Dead, No Man's Land, the official game. Okay, so I guess they're releasing another game. Uh, it don't, doesn't look like the same characters, though, unless that's Lori. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we get some statues, Maggie, Daryl, and Glenn. All right, 15% off. Cool. Um, costumes, because who doesn't want to dress up as Michonne for Halloween or Daryl? Uh, Shop the Walking Dead, get 15% off. This is cool. I like the 15% off. License bags. I want that sheriff bag. <laughs> uh, we got sh uh, guitars. Calendars, uh, comic book man, which I do watch actually. Midnight um, sucks that it's at midnight, but I actually really do enjoy comic book man. I love Kevin Smith. I think he's hilarious, um, and uh, I enjoy watching the show. I, I again, I think it sucks that it's at midnight, but what are you gonna do? 
uh, t-shirts, other stuff. I hate these. I don't like Pop Funkos. I know a lot of people enjoy them. I don't care for them personally. Um, trading cards, it looks like. Oh, deluxe journals. Whoops. Uh, what is this? Pop-up coming... Oh, a pop-up book? Are you kidding me? It's it's insane the amount of advertising and marketing that they do just to promote the show. I mean, we get we're we're all fans. We get it. We don't need a pop-up book, okay? Uh, poster collections. I would actually buy those. Hell on Wheels. I never got into that show actually. Uh, Halloween collection. Nice looking zombie mask. Merle. Uh, official posters. Um, everyone's playing the Walking Dead slot game. Oh, now we have a slot machine. Uh, Dale's RV. Oh, they have building sets. Look, they have the prison boiler room. They have... I saw these in Walmart, actually, a few days ago. Woodbury Assault Vehicle, Prison Tower and Gate, Daryl with Chopper, whoop de doo <laughs> Um, what is this? Board games, mugs, other things, coasters. Oh, great, I want to put my drink on Daryl's face. That's exactly what I want. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> uh, Halloween Horror Nights promotion. I have no idea what that is. And, of course, uh, promoting the end of uh, the start of Season 6. So there you have it, guys. That is the entire fifth season. Um, I, I can talk about bonus features, even though I obviously haven't watched any of this yet. Uh, you do get a lot, which is pretty good. And the season as a whole, which I'll discuss briefly right now, uh, was decent, in my opinion. I think it was a step up from Season 4. In my opinion, Season 4 had one of the best episodes of the series in uh, Too Far Gone. But then, literally right after that, the second half of that season just fell. And I was really upset with that that season, actually. Uh, in my opinion, that season only pumped out like three good episodes. The rest were either decent or... Or just boring and I just didn't care for them. So I was like on the fence right before season 5 started. Then season 5 started and in my opinion the premiere episode is probably still the best episode of season 5. Uh, episode 1. Um, I really liked it. And then it kept getting better and better in my opinion the first half of the season. Um... Like, I liked the whole Alexandria thing. That was great. That that ended, like, episode three. Then we got into Beth's storyline, and that that I didn't care for that much. Um, but then, we, you know, we picked it back up with Daryl and Carol and Beth and all that. That got interesting. I did not care for the midseason finale. I thought it was actually kind of dumb. Uh, doesn't even compare to Too Far Gone. Then we got into the second half of the season, and in my opinion, the second half of the season had maybe, I'd say, two week episodes. Every other episode was good, though. The whole quest... To get to Alexandra, I really liked the second half of the season. The episode before the finale was incredible in my opinion. I love that ending. Uh, two episodes before that, episode 14, which everybody just said was horrific as hell, and it was, uh, was pretty good. And the finale itself, I love the ending. I love the 90 minute, how it was 90 minutes, and it paid off. It, it, it was satisfying. Uh, the ending of the finale itself just was mind-blowing in my opinion and it perfectly left us on both a cliffhanger and it set us up pretty uh, well for season six which i'm looking forward to with the reappearance of a beloved character that's all i'm gonna say uh but season five has a lot to it guys it dealt with alexandria the whole thing with terminus uh several characters unfortunately bit the bullet um, so it had a lot going on, much better than season four, in my opinion, still not as good as the best of the series so far, which is season three, that's my favorite, um, uh, but I did enjoy season five, I had a lot of good episodes, um, overall, and I'm looking forward to season six. So guys, those are my thoughts on The Walking Dead, the complete fifth season, let me know what is your favorite moment of season five, let me know what are your thoughts on season five in general, and what was your favorite episode, guys, and, uh, what do you think of the DVD Blu-ray release? So guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.